Our guest is Bernadette Player. Bernadette is a graduate of what was then Mount St. Joseph College, and she's a trustee of what is now Mount St. Joseph University. She has recently retired as research scientist at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. What prompted you to choose Mount St. Joseph College and in fact to travel all the way to Ohio from Trinidad? Well, very fortuitously, I did not choose the Mount St. Joseph College. They chose me. Growing up as a child in a very poor rural village in Trinidad, I had aspirations of one day becoming a scientist but didn't know how to get there. And we had a missionary priest from Texas who would go to the small Catholic colleges in the U.S. during the summer and look for scholarships for women. I was privileged to go to an all-girls Catholic high school and so qualified through that to be an applicant for one of these scholarships, which was also based on where we were placed in our national exams. Well, to make a long story short, I did get a scholarship to College of Mount St. Joseph in Cincinnati. I'd never heard of Cincinnati before, had no idea where it was. So it was a very brave move on my part <laughs> to head out to the Midwest, to Cincinnati, and I never regretted that. This must have been a really amazing transition for you. What was it about Mount St. Joseph that made it work? Did you find a welcoming environment there? I think that was actually the key to my success. There we had the Sisters of Charity who ran the college. They were welcoming with more than open arms. They were so understanding. And besides that, my class and my classmates and all the people at the college, because it was such a small college, were absolutely welcoming. And just to throw the envelope, I just came back yesterday from our 70th birthday class reunion in Casco Bay, Maine. And that's how close we have remained. In two years, we'll be celebrating our 50th class reunion. And we celebrated our 70th birthday reunion this past week. What influenced your choice of biology as your major? I was, in my country, the only science that girls were able to take at that time was biology. And in fact, my class was the first class to take biology because I was the one who instigated it. We finally got a female science teacher. We had no science teachers in the girls' schools. And when we finally got one, I approached her and asked if she could do the biology syllabus with us because it seemed easier than starting with chemistry or physics. And she agreed to do that. And so our class, my class at my high school, was the first one to do biology in a girls' school. So that was one influence, and then getting the scholarship to go to the College of Mount St. Joseph, I majored in biology there. Did you know when you started college what your major would be, and did you have a sense that you wanted to get into wildlife conservation? I think I knew that from probably about age three, because I was always surrounded by nature. I always loved plants and animals. In fact, it became a problem in what I would uh, actually pursue my graduate work in. I couldn't focus on one or the other, so I got master's degrees in both <laughs> animal physiology and plant physiology <laughs> so that I could pursue both. I also wanted to repay, do something that I could repay my country so I knew that I wanted to pursue wildlife conservation so that I could go back and do something there to help with the environmental problems we were having. As a trustee, what do you consider the most important job that you have for Mount St. Joseph University? Well, as a member of the Board of Trustees, I have a pretty different background from most of our other board members. I bring to it, first of all, the perspective of a scientist, and we did not have a scientist on the board. But I also, as an alumni, alumna of the College of Mount St. Joseph, bring that perspective, and the perspective of coming from a different culture, from a whole different socioeconomic background, and being able to show that a liberal arts education, the nurturing, 
and the wealth of knowledge that I got at the college really prepared me to come full circle from being this poor little girl who came from Trinidad and got a scholarship there to being able to serve with great pride on the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Bernadette. It's been a pleasure talking to you today.